Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Victoria. I'm a mum of two girls and we are a little family of four on the south east coast of the UK. Now this is a really highly requested video from you lot, which is a house tour slash fat tour slash home tour. Um, I have finally gotten around to doing it for you. We changed the girls' rooms around yesterday, so Olivia and Lily are now sharing. So you get to see what it looks like now um, before any vlogs go up. Oh, I we're not in any way like rich or anything so what you see is what you get and there is stuff that needs sorting there is stuff that needs painting um the mold needs sorting in the house as you will have will see and there is always housework to do hence like washing and washing up and folding of washing so please excuse any mess that you see it's just mum life and my house is clean as it needs to be i don't know why i'm saying that but i'm putting it out there anyway but anyway i'm going to show you where we live and how it all looks at the moment i hope you enjoy the first room as we go in the door is the girls bedroom this would have been my room when we had these flats um i lived along the road a bit so as we first go in behind the door are the coat hooks and the bag and then underneath those bags is Olivia's toys. We've also got some Sylvania family stuff down there and it's just craziness. We don't have enough room in this room really, but here we have all their books. This is most of them. Some are in Olivia's drawers, but then we've got overflow of books in her bookcase. This was my mum's Russian doll. Then up here we have so many bows and there will be more bows probably, but they're all the bows that we've got to and found at the moment we turn around and down here we've got a little toy box olivia's hoover and some mermaid blankets and then we come to the girls ottoman this is from aldi it's a little bit damaged we don't really sit on it anymore but it's full of their toys jam-packed their toys then up we go to their telly and we've got a lily frame and a frame with some of their photos in I just really like those two photos. I was trying to get three in there, but we've got two in there instead. Then we come round and we've got Lil's drawers. These are literally just jam-packed with her clothes and bits and bobs. Lil's decides what goes on top of there. So she's got loads of different random bits. Lego, LOLs, <coughs> um, her unicorn Russian doll kit that she got for Christmas. Then she's got some photos of her friends there and a butterfly she made. Then above that we have this hideous teddy net. Oh, I personally dear. don't like it. It just looks messy to me, but Lil's absolutely loves her teddy, so it's a good place to put them. Then we've got Olivia's changing mat just hiding down the side there. Down there we have got two Playmobil farms and we've got the Barbie house. The big window that looks out onto the gorgeous tree that you see in most of my vlogs. <laughs> On the window still we've got some little bits that she got for Easter. The crystal that we made and some stones in that that she really <sighs> likes to keep. Then down here we have got a couple of Olivia's toys now. <sighs> and here is her cot. So we moved her cot into here yesterday. In the drawer below, this side we have got pyjamas and then that side is nappies and wipes and books. But that is where she is sleeping now. We have got like this um, jewel art that we got off Facebook. Then we've got this love you to the moon and back sign. More and more books. Oh, and more books. <laughs> and loads of Lego creations. These are all on Olivia uh, on Lil's desk. She's also got some pictures there and some drawings and everything. Underneath there is very higgledy piggledy. She has got Playmobil, um, Sylvania family buildings, food, teddies. That does need a good organise. I do it quite often, but it just gets really messy. And there's also dress up over the back there. This box here is pretty much full of Lego. More and more Lego. Then behind there are two shelves full of like Playmobil and Hatchimals and LOLs and all that sort of stuff. Then we've got a Lil's wardrobe which has got her shoes and clothes in so there's no point in opening that and seeing it. Mm. I got this done for Lil's on Valentine's 2019. So there's my gorgeous mummy and... Lil's is there and everything and Jack-Jack. 
Then this is Lil's bed for the time being. This will be changing when Olivia comes in here, like as in a bed. Uh, we'll be getting a bunk bed. But this is what her bed looks like. It's all nice and made. She's got all her teddies and books and yeah. That wall needs painting, hence why it's got filler on it. But yeah, that is the girl's bedroom now. So when you come out of the girls' room, this is what you see. So this is our main hallway. And behind me, we've got our coat rack with a few odds and sods. I've got this little basket to keep masks and bits and bobs in, sun cream, um, hand sanitizer, all that stuff, my inhaler. We've got our shoe rack. That needs to go to the car. Then this is a new addition. This was actually in Lil's room, and that's going to go there so I can put Olivia's shoes on. Opposite their room is the bathroom. I have a dream catcher up there and this little sign saying, excuse the mess, we just wanted you to feel at home. Now this is a work in progress. <laughs> it still needs finishing. Um, the paint we got is absolutely useless. So we're going to try and get another lot, but we just have a bath in here. Right, so yes, um, the grout is absolutely awful down here. We have replaced it about three or four different times. This room is really, really bad. And they just tell us to have a window open. Um, that is all stained now. That is actually clean. It's just stained. So yeah, we've got a bath. Um, and a, we've got some shower shelves there. And just one of the simple showers. We've got loads of bath stickers. Lil's absolutely loves these. Then down here, we've got a big tub full of all their toys. And my bath pillow. We've got our sink. A good old Poundland mirror. Then here we've just got all our products. Then the toilet, you don't really see that. Then a shelf with sanitary stuff and clean flannels and extra products. Then behind here, lastly, I've got this grab a towel, a bar of soap, it light a candle and enjoy a soak thing from Poundland. It drives Liam insane because it's got no commas. Oh, I forgot about this. This is my leaky cauldron and Diagon Alley sign that my dad got me. <laughs> Coming out of here, you've got a big mirror. You've got a toddler walking around with her treats, her snacks. Then we have got my two lovely signs that I've had for years. The heart that we got the first holiday Lil's had. And then a daughter sign from my mum. Some photos that need updating. I mean, this is Lil's and she's a spit of Olivia here. That's Lil's at probably about a year and a half. And that's Lil's just before a year old. I mean, they needed, they seriously need updating. Right, we're gonna go into our room next. So here is our bedroom next. It has just been sorted back into our bedroom, so it's quite exciting. We do have a pile of washing down there. Always have a pile of washing in this house. I have two kids, um, and not enough time. In there is a very messy laundry cupboard. We have tools in the bottom towels and bed and all there and then loads of junk up the top there we have a shell from one of liam's old racing cars some family pics there then we have this telly on the wall um books and clothes drawers we have some face masks for tonight i'm quite excited about them this was from next it holds my little necklaces and that you wouldn't believe I dusted like half an hour ago, but I've been flitting about all day. Our perfumes. My gorgeous jewelry box, which is full of hairbands and that. And a candle. More books. Liam got the fan out the cupboard the other day, because obviously the weather's going to be changing soon. Olivia's prams in here. And then there's this junk corner, which is literally a junk corner. My niece is having that coat. That's for sale. They're going to nannies. That's for sale. The chairs are staying there. Then we have our wardrobe with our lovely full mirror. I love this mirror. Um, and on top we've got some storage and Harry Potter stuff. Again, we have issues up there. That wall has been redone and it still have issues. So these two, we have drawers in the bottom of there, hanging there, shelf. Then these are all shelves, but they do have hanging areas too. We still have this in here. It needs to find a home for it. Then we've got our dressing gowns, this nice big window that again looks out onto the tree. We actually have a hidden photo here, which is an early one of me and Liam. <laughs> Wash basket, bedside table with our new lamps. I love those. They're not that new, but 
Duplo and craft storage. It's in here so the girls can't get hold of it whenever they want. Then we have our gorgeous bed. This bedding is so old it needs replacing. It's got stains and holes. This needs to be centralised now. It was central to the bed before Olivia moved into the other room. So that's our map of full frame. There's my bedside table with my mum coaster. Then this is the girls wash bin. And this is the girls toy storage. There's some old photos that I need to move. And um, actually the, the album's going to a family member. But these are some old photos of my mum. Oh, this is my mum as a baby. Look at her. And this is my mum and my auntie Jenny. So gorgeous. We have this frame, which is a D Divine Darling frame. I love this. It was from a garage sale. Then another very early picture. This is before Lil was of me and Liam. You go out of our bedroom and across from our bedroom is the kitchen. So we've got loads of storage, well no, we haven't really got a lot of storage, but we've got food cupboard, cutlery drawer, bit of um, work surface, this is why it needs repainting because all these splats up the wall. We've got key and letter storage there, that's our glass cupboard, our cooker, um, random stuff under there like the cat litter tray and bin and all that sort of stuff. This is our tea and coffee station and apparently alcohol's over there too. <coughs> Um, knives this is our cup cupboard then Liam collects bottles we have loads of bottles up there that need washing but I refuse to do it because he wants them um, so he can get them down we have this orchid I think it's an orchid that needs like saving my tiny bit of washing up these are from B&M I have two of these that's kind of one of the reasons I was gonna repaint because of those uh, the ducks my dad got me randomly there's our sink cleaning cupboard um, like tray cupboard like for cooking trays washing machine plates cupboard junk drawer um, then we've got our juice and more, more like work surface we've got our blender and new toaster our other one broke so this is our new toaster and these are donuts for Liam and Millie I'm not keen on donuts so that's theirs <laughs> This is another food cupboard, then we come round in our boiler cupboard and hoover cupboard. This little fox is from my mum, bless her. This was from Avon years and years ago, but um, it definitely blocks the air out. Then we've got Olivia's weaning chart, this Coca-Cola sign, I don't know why. We liked it and then I got it for my birthday anyway. Cereal, bread and all that sort of stuff. Look at the amount of the Easter eggs they still have, it's mad. And then just an average parent fridge we have certificates and letters and all that for Zazon we also seem to collect um magnets from when we go away or days out so I've got one from Barcelona one from Winter Wonderland one from Malta one from Marseille the most expensive city we've ever been to uh one from Rome one from where's the Genoa one Genoa or Genova as they call it there so yeah I like collecting them and it's nice to look back on We've got our calendar, it needs to be changed to May actually. There we go, it's now May. And then finally behind the door is the high chair and the tumble dryer. That is our kitchen. Then we come out of our kitchen to a Lamborghini picture, which is Liam's. Then a picture of his cousin doing motocross. Then we have this gorgeous picture of the girls as we go into the living room. She is still trotting about, bless her. She's now walking around the pot that she had. This needs to go to Liam's mum's. This is turned around so Olivia doesn't play with cat toys. But this is the right hand side of the living room. So we've got a little tub chair, a den that Lil's has made. This is Liam's setup for his gaming computer. Um, he's got a bottle of whiskey down there and his little toolkit. We have this keyboard mat that I got him for his birthday. Um, he needs a new keyboard. That's a game and mouse controller and new headset. Up here we've got some storage shelves. The orchid was living there, that's why there's a big gap. This is an original Quadrophenia record cover and record. Uh, it needs, it does need a lot of TLC, but we don't know how to do it. Uh, and then Liam's Christmas present he got. Down there is this, the PC, the gaming PC, and I also edit on that. Then we have a dining table there. That is our munch box. 
Easter treats and biscuits. Um, this is our sideboard with our pictures on. My white lily and jasmine candle. I absolutely love the scent of this one. It reminds me of my mum and all that. We have blankets. These are wax melts. These are Liam's new books he got for his birthday. That side is games and puzzles and all that. And then this side is like photo albums and um, paperwork, paper, stuff like that in there. We turn around to come to this big bit of the living room. Now this does need to go back to Liam's mum's, but I think we're going to wait till after summer now. This is a huge fan that you put water in and it's nice and cool. This is our new sofa. Well, kind of new. It's like four months old now. Coffee table with a wax melt. I think that's um, Sweet Petals from Tesco. This is our ridiculously old TV unit. We have had this going on 10 years. Then we've got a PS4 down there. A statue of the MSE Splendida. A picture of the girlies again. I cannot get enough of the pictures of the girlies. Um, our DVD unit. DVD player even. Hello. She's got a torch. Telly. And there's a picture of me and Liam there. Then we have these jars. These are called... These are Demijohns. And they actually have Christmas fairy lights in them. We have another one with stones down there, a couple of vases. But yes, these have um, green fairy lights in. We've got our Alexa down there. We've got a battery charger and a speaker for Liam's stereo. This is where the cat food and water goes. Another Demi John with lights in. Cat tower and cat bed. He does not use the cat bed whatsoever. Then behind at the moment, we've got a doll's house that needs repairing. I think that's pretty much everything. We've got a canvas up there, this gorgeous photo that I kind of want above the bed and I want the map of all I'm in here. Um, this mirror picture and the picture I got for Christmas from Dad and Angie. So more photos and lamps. And then behind here is our DVD and books. So I've got all my Harry Potter books down there, a Giovanna Fletcher book, and then loads and loads of DVDs and some blankets. But I think that is everything. So that is our house. Please, no negative comments. Just if you've got something bad to say, just leave it to yourself because I am not for negativity on my channel. Um, I know it's not to everyone's taste. I know that we, some of the stuff's mismatch or that we just don't have like the means to change stuff as quickly as other people. But we get there and we have a roof over our head. But if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more on my channel, click the subscribe button below. And I shall see you all very soon for another video. Bye!